So it's been about a week and a half now since I made that last video, and as you can see, these plantlets have come along quite nicely. This particular leaf cutting has been here for about three weeks now. This is Drosera grima galensis. These other cuttings um, have just been here for like a week and a half, like I said. Um, got a few varieties here as well, like um, Clensia fairyland, we got some Capensis giant form, and then Drosera montana tomentosa. And today what I'm going to show you how to do is feeding these guys. Um, it'll dramatically speed up their growth. If you don't let them catch any insects on their own, if they're sealed up in a saran container to boost up the humidity, um, they're not going to be catching any insects on their own unless there's springtails in the soil or something like that. So what you want to do is get some beta bites or freeze-dried bloodworms. Um, pretty much any CP appropriate food and you'll want to just grind it up into powder. I got some here already. You can kind of see the relative size of these. They're pretty big um, compared to these little tiny plantlets and if you use a whole one it'll pretty much be as big as the plant. So what you want to do is crush them up into a fine powder first before using them and um, pretty much as fine as possible is what you ideally want. Um, just almost a dust that you want to form here. Um, and you want to just get a slight amount of this on your tweezer, which I recommend using. It's pretty detailed work here, so you want to use something that can you can be pretty detailed with. So, as you can see here, I tried to get a little dust particle, whatever you want to call them, on there. So now what you want to do is take this and place it on one of your leaves that you have have some dew on. I guess I'll do one of these plantlets back here. So what you want to do is take your little speck of dust and place it on the leaf in a way that it sticks to the dew. Um, you don't want to just place it on the leaf itself or it will likely just mold and you don't want that because um, it'll probably destroy your leaf. So, I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's on there now. It's stuck to the dew nicely, so um, you just want to make sure it's on the dew because it'll um, allow that mucilage and the enzymes to digest the pellet, and um, it'll reduce the mold that you see. So, like I said, you don't want to use big pieces of food. You want to avoid spilling it on the long fiber sphagnum or whatever media you're using, it'll cause a lot of mold growth and you want to avoid that as much as possible with these guys. So, um, yeah, like I said, this will dramatically increase their rate of growth. They tend to just stay around this size if you don't do anything. So I highly recommend feeding and, or letting them catch insects on their own. So I hope that helped and hope that your propagation success increases and that you can spread these amazing plants. Good luck!